Okay, so apparently our staff room is being built as well. And I forgot to put in a couple of loudspeakers. So I'll put one here for maximum coverage. And a second one in the staff room here, I think. No, it doesn't quite reach everywhere. There we go, from the drink machine. That should work. Cool, cool. Alrighty. So we've got minions heading off to go out into the world. And of course the minions getting ready to build everything. Yeah, I'm going to crank this back up to 40. We'll just have to build a couple more uh, bits of the barracks. Oh, that should be alright. We've got a couple of lockers coming as well. Yes, I plan things out and then I forget about them. It's not my strong suit. Suit. I keep saying sweet. I don't know. But the plan is with the base, essentially, because we need to build an inner sanctum of evil and doom. I thought about putting it here. Like so. But it's actually not big enough for the conference table. You must have a conference table, for you are an evil genius. Go away. So it'll probably end up being an infirmary or something like that. Or... We could build another mini barracks. No, not a mini armory. Derp. We'll build a mini barracks. Actually, we'll just check on this. Cool, cool. Awesome. Now, there is a function of this that... Uh, world map that we'll need to use a lot, and it's the hiding button. And we mostly need to do that when Agents of Justice show up, which they will eventually. They'll probably show up in a few minutes, so we've got a little bit of time to build here. But what I was thinking was maybe putting a little mini barracks in like that, and then just stuffing it full of lockers. Like so. It's building it like that. There we go. But that would leave us pretty short of funds. So how much does it actually cost to build that? 4,000 for the room. 1,000 for a locker. And 1,500 for a door. Yeah, we'll build it now. The quicker we get it built, the quicker we can send out more minions into the uh, different lands. Now, unfortunately, every separate alliance, so Sabre, Patriot, Smash, Hammer, and Anvil, all have at least one secret agent counter, and they show up in each territory periodically, so can we see... No, I believe we need to have intel first before we can see these. But once you can see the uh, locations of the forces of justice, you can plan your strategy. So every once in a while you have to go hide, and everyone will stop producing money for a while. But for now we don't need to worry so much. I will check back on that periodically though. Hello. Disillusion you. Disillusion you. Yes, yes, I know. Do we have any valets? Yes, we have the one still. He's probably training. Yes, he's taking part in a training exercise. Hmm. Oh, that's not too bad. And we're hovering at 40,000 ish. Which isn't too bad. We've got 8,000 coming in every minute, so that's pretty good. But we've seriously annoyed the forces of justice, especially Smash. Hence why we're suddenly having uh, agents appear. And we'll just mark them all for weakening. Because it's preferable not to kill them. You don't want to kill agents if you can avoid it. You do, however, want this be fully staffed. I'll be doing this a lot now, 
as the game progresses, seeing as we now have to watch out for forces of justice. I'll be popping into the world map very frequently. And it's probably not a safe place for you to stand. Move. So many forces of justice. So many. Okay. Nobody yet. So, so far we've got at our disposal guards and valets, but what we need also are technicians. So we're going to send uh, four of our guys there. I think we'll send out a fresh four. Yep, we'll send out a fresh four. And luckily we're getting some more guards on the way. This is why I have multiple um, training room items, because you can get a chain line going. Burglary, you say? From whom? Wait, did he spot somebody there? Yes, he did. Kill him. And kill this guy too. Hopefully. Uh oh. No, you're not allowed to get away. <laughs> we need to stop you. Oh dear. Yes, so it's preferable not to kill agents, but you sometimes have to if they're going to steal your money like that guy was. Sometimes it is just unavoidable. Okay, just got to make sure that there's no forces of justice turning up, because that would be very, very bad. This very early juncture in the game. Because generally, once you lose your first set of guys, you can't really get them back. Of course there was. No, we're all good. I'm a little bit paranoid. <laughs> Only a little bit. Now it's about time that we started building up our armory, so I will put uh, two handgun cabinets. One, two. And one rifle cabinet. We only need the one rifle cabinet at the moment, and we'll go to yellow alert. Yellow alert means that minions will arm themselves, and they will attack um, people with guns, instead of using their fists. Fists are all well and good, but guns are more effective. Okay, so we do need to capture the technician. He's a very important, important man. And once we're done with him, we'll redistribute the minions to each of these places. We'll probably lose two. Stop stealing my money. <laughs> and just like that. Spotted. Whacked. Now hopefully this guy doesn't see us doing that. In fact, we're going to order another door. We're going to put it there. So he can't. Oh dear. He's going to see the body bag. They're both going to see the body bags. Kill them! Yes, that is the solution set to most of your problems. Kill it, kill it, kill it! <laughs> At least in the early game. Later on you'll have more options. You won't have to kill every single agent who turns up. And it's very inadvisable to do so anyway. Because brings you more heat if they don't come back from their missions. Which is obviously not a good thing. But the money's coming in now, it's not doing too bad, we're doing pretty well. Although I do want to put a few more soldiers, well, I want to put some guards out there, so I think we'll put, send one guard here one guard to Europe, and that'll leave us eight trained ones at home, so that should be pretty good. We don't need heaps and heaps of them early on, because we haven't done many acts of notoriety, and so the forces of justice won't seek us out too much. They're still annoyed with us, but they're not annoyed to the point where they'll send fully armed squads of soldiers. Hello, where are you going? I don't know, but I need you distracted. And tourists have arrived on the island. Those bastards. Okay. Send one. 
So yeah, you can see the construction workers are all moving in to collect their weaponry, which is very good. Now you might be wondering, hang on, this training room, surely there'll be many minions in here. Well, yes, but I don't want to put any loudspeakers in here, because the minions will stop their training and then run off to deal with the threat, and then they have to start their training all over again. Not desirable. So that's why that's not happening. Is he going to see the captured guy? Please tell me he's not going to see the captured guy. And raise heat. No, nope, no, nope, he's busy. He's busy looking at that stuff. Awesome. Oh dear, that's what I was afraid of happening. Oh, they went away. Hang on, so who did we lose? Oh, Lord Kane got discovered. Well, at least we didn't lose any of the um, the really important people, like guards. But that is why you have to watch out for forces of justice. But I think we'll just send Lord Kane straight back out out once um, he's back. Is there any? No, there wasn't an alert about that. That's strange. Oh, well, not important. Main thing is that we stop them from doing their stuff. Our dastardly deeds were still carried out. God damn it! Really? He just came back. What the what the hell? No, go away. Stop it. <laughs> I need my minions out there collecting me money. Okay. That was weird. Usually they don't come that quickly. But as you saw, the minions of the Forces of Justice have a little uh, token as well, and they show up on the map. Come on, guards, train more people. Now I'm going to be really paranoid about this. <laughs> That's not too bad. So we can afford to start building up again. We haven't had a minion killed yet, so we can't actually build the... Uh, infirmary, which is one of the buildings that we kind of need. But we can make preparations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a corridor off this way. Not three tiles wide though, only two. I'm going to build it down to here, and what we're going to do is we're going to put our laboratory in here. New Once we get around to it. Because the laboratory is a, it's a pretty big area. Actually, what we might do is instead of doing that like that, I might put this area of the corridor over here. Yeah, I like the look of that better. That way our inner sanctum can go here, and all the other bits that we haven't built can go into this section here. Yep, that looks good to me. Now technicians, they're very good at plotting. Well, they're not very, very good at plotting, but the science minion tree is a lot more useful at it. Now, because we're getting some more minions out here... Is Lord Kane with them? No, not yet. Okay, so we've had a bit of a heat increase, but as you can see, if I click on the soldier, he's fair at stealing money, terrible at plotting, good at protecting allies when carrying out acts of infamy. These guys are just terrible at everything. And Lord Kane, once he arrives, we can have a look at him. And it'll show us that he is uh, good at plotting, good at stealing, and good at protecting fellow minions. So he's a good all-rounder. Now, what I was thinking was we could probably put the Inner Sanctum just here like this. It's a little bit big, I know, but it's your inner sanctum that's going to look cool. If we do that, we can afford to put the conference table 
here. And the desk just over here in the corner. And one door there. And then we've still got room for traps. That doesn't seem like a too bad idea to me. And then we can put a little armory. So we'll just check on the forces of justice. Nope, they're not doing anything dastardly. We could probably put a little armory in here. No, not like that. Actually, just over here. Yeah, I like that. Oh wait, the guards don't have to go too far to collect their weapons. And we could put a rifle cabinet there, like that. And we could probably even fit another security desk in there if we wanted to. Yeah, I like this plan. That's not too bad. I'll authorize the building of that. Your loyal servant, Lord Kane, has returned from the wilderness. That's strange. It shouldn't do that. Well, that's good. Lord Kane has returned from the wilderness. Uh, actually, I'll just edit the corridor a little bit. Put another loot alcove in there. And we'll put a fire extinguisher one there. That's all cool. Now let's see. Yep, fire extinguisher one there. I know, we've already got enough here. Um, no, that one looks okay. Yeah, that actually should be alright. Cancel. So, no forces of justice have turned up just yet, which is good. How's the minion training going? Okay, so we've got some technicians being trained. Guard force is all up to scratch. So we might just get a few more of them. We'll get 15 guards. And... Those quit it. There we go. Happy now. Whiny lady. <laughs> whinge, whinge, whinge. Okay, so Smash isn't too happy. Saber and Patriot, they're okay with it. We've mostly killed Smash operatives. What? Oh, I see. He's actually in play again. So he should be en route. Now, hopefully... Uh, this power generation room will be enough to power the rest of the base. It should be for the early term until we can get better generators. But you never can really tell with this game. It can sometimes throw curveballs at you. But right now, we're actually doing pretty well. We're not doing too bad at all. Why are you panicked? You are not. Go away. Stop panicking. God, whinge, whinge, whinge. <laughs> That's all the tourists do as well. That's why I don't like them. Okay, so we need two workers over here to steal the archives. Hmm. I think we'll just wait until we've fully stocked our minion reserves. Oh, hello. Who are you parachuting into our island of indeterminate location? You are a good anvil burglar. Well, hopefully we can dissuade you from being around. Hmm. Alright, we're not doing too bad at the moment. Hmm, how much does this cost to build? 8,000. Hmm. I think I'll just wait to plan out the rest of it first before we continue building down that way. We don't actually need the area. So it should be alright. Minions are doing okay. We've got some more valets, which is excellent. Now these missions do come up again and again. The capturing of guards. You can use them if you lose all your guards and you don't have any higher tier military minions. And the same thing goes for technician and the maid. The maid mission appears over here. In Polynesia. You probably won't really use it very often, but it's handy to have. Now, the interesting thing about plotting and all that is that you need to do it in each separate region. 
You can't just plot in one area and have an alliance's uh, stats come up. You need to do it manually. So I'm going to send people out, technicians specifically. I'm going to send three of them out to different areas of the world. Because I want Lord Kane focused on stealing at the moment. Because apparently you aren't really teaching. And you're saddling up for a mission by wandering around. Solid work. Ooh, hang on. Hide. Hide and hide. There you go. Look out, it's an agent of justice. While this piece is in a region, your minions will suffer great attrition and acts of infamy will be even more dangerous to carry out. Hide! Well, that's what we did. Now, it does come back to the previous task after a while, so it doesn't really matter at the moment because we're not spending a heap of money, so I'll just leave them on hide, and the agents of justice should have left by the time they go back to active duty. Now, you can also set uh, time clocks in here. I don't really want to at this point, but I will. I'll build one, but I'll set it to, I'll leave it at the nominal staff rating, because we don't really need that many people in there at the moment. This place, however, should be on almost one and a half watches, so I'm surprised that there's no guys in there. It is mildly annoying that they're not actually watching the uh, place they're meant to be. Ooh, that's strange. Okay, early game. This is a little bit of a worry. These guys are exceptional smash burglars. Well, this guy. They are very, very good at what they do. It takes... they've got uh, boosted abilities. And it takes a long time for valets to have an impact on them. Luckily, we've got a few hanging around over there, so they should get to it fairly quickly. So, what's the deal over here? Agents of Justice still haven't moved out. That's okay. At least we're in hiding. Being in hiding is much more preferable. So, we've got a few more technicians, apparently. Oh, cool. Okay. So, we've got a lot more going on. The guards are still our most prolific. Which is good, because guards are the most important at this early stage in the game. Uh, okay, cool. They've all gone away. So we'll swap back to that. If you're wondering how I'm doing that, you can use the arrow keys to navigate each of the territories. So just push the arrow keys and you'll go to where you want to go. Okay. Now, Asia has a lot of loot at the beginning of the game. So it's very important to study up on their acts of infamy. By study up, I mean plotting, obviously. You are trying to steal my money. That is a no-do. Give me back my money. Hmm, he's just a good burglar. Well, that's not good. Help him. Actually, no, that was kind of good. It <laughs> unlocked the infamo. Infirmaries are very, very handy. Oh, hang on. What do you find? Oh, sweet. It's the Oriental Crime Lord. Okay. Uh, before you can do that mission, though, you do require having a conference table and an inner sanctum. What's the video hint? Your minions are sick nope. of don't need to know that. I know that already. So we'll build the infirmary over here. Because it'll, be it'll be in a nice central location for most things. And we can get a bit of space out of it. It doesn't need to be very big for the first island. The second island, you sort of need a bigger infirmary, but right now it's okay. It's the thing you'll be using most in there are these pharmacy booths. So we'll start building it. And I think what I will do is I'll put another alcove oops, just here, if it'll fit. Seeing as we're not going to be able to use the space for anything else. No, we couldn't put one over there. Okay, so we'll build that up. That should be all good for now. So we've already discovered a couple more um, missions. And as you can see, the timer is not a minute as it normally would be, because there's a technician over here. 
So, let's see. Is there any loop that we can come across straight away? Yes, there is. Okay, but we need nine workers there. It's got a high risk, brings a lot of heat. Alright, well in that case, we're just going to wait until we've got more workers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump this up to... We'll pay... 500 to get every... Actually, no. We'll pay the 1,000. We can afford it at the moment because we'll be earning back. We're earning 10,000 a minute, so we can afford it at the moment. And once we've got a larger complement of construction workers, we won't have to worry so much. It's difficult when you've got a lot of training going on because you take the construction workers and as you can see we've only got five here on the island which is not a very good situation to be having but the plotting is going quite well so what we might do is we'll just transfer this guy over here and you sir can be transferred to here and have a look in South Africa to see if there's anything going on that we should know about and you, yeah, you can go to Central Asia and do the same. So that's not too bad at all. Henchmen go away. I don't need to know about that. I know we will get to henchmen eventually, computer. All right. So we're not doing too bad for the initial stages of the game. Really? Where? Oh, it's that guy. Okay, so nothing important. Stop annoying me, game. <laughs> Stop telling me all this stuff. Oh, hang on. Ming bling bling. And another Ming. That one just makes me think of the, uh, the Jackie Chan cartoon that used to be on TV, if any of you remember it, where he'd have um, Jackie's uncle, I think it was, and his catchphrase was, One more thing! He'd say it every single time. Ah, nostalgia. Hmm. Okay, what acts of infamy can we look at doing with our current resources? Hmm. Workers would be good to send out there, but that one was fairly high risk. So I'm a little bit nervous of doing that. Ah, this one's a lot more easy. And we've already got a technician in there. Okay, we'll send two valets, two workers, and a guard. They can carry out that mission. Cool, cool. Where are you going? Oh, you're going off on the mission. Okay, well, don't let me keep you. Continue on, continue on. Oh, for God's sake. Why are you panicked? Can't get out of where? Not anywhere, you idiot. All these people do is whinge, whinge, whinge. <laughs> okay, so hopefully we'll have enough construction workers in a minute or two to... Fighting? Really? Oh, hello. Kill him. Yeah, so the exceptional burglar wasn't fooled by our attempts to uh, woo him with our valet. He was not a happy camper, and thus he got shot for it. Because he tried to kill us. Not good. Okay, I keep thinking that there'll be another set of forces of justice rocking up. But so far, nothing. Not that that's a bad thing. Hopefully somebody is going to actually move that. Ah, yes, good. If body bags sit outside for too long, they get uh, used as evidence of your evil doing by the forces of justice, and then they immediately leave your island to inform the rest of the world about your dastardly deeds. Oh, that's good. Awesome. Okay, carry out the mission. send everybody home except the 
guard. The guard can go to America, because we haven't got one there already. Assuming he lives. <laughs> Hopefully he does. I hope he does. Okay, so the tourist is not too bad at the moment. He's not panicked or anything like that. So we'll just let him do what he was going to do beforehand. 